Hello, this is Steel, aka Kane, and this is a guide to applying skins in Halo Trial. It will also very briefly cover how to make them, though I advise you ignore that if you don't already know how. Uh, the first thing you'll need to do is go to My Computer, uh, C, Program Files, Microsoft Games, Halo Trial, and then you'll see a folder there called Maps. What you want to do is highlight all of the items in that folder, right click and copy them, create a new folder, call it backups or whatever you like, save that, open that folder, and you're going to paste all those files right in there. This is important so that if you screw something up while you're trying to apply your skin, you can still restore to the original ones and that should fix any problems that you incur. Okay, once you've done that, then you're going to need to go once more to start my computer and uh, wherever you have downloaded Halo Map Tools. It should already be extracted from a zip archive if that's how you downloaded it. Uh, what you want to do is run the program. It'll come up, look like this. I'd like to maximize it. You need to come to uh, File, Open. If you've used it before, then it'll probably have the map already there on that little quick list. Um, go once more to the folder you were at before, C, Program Files, Microsoft Games, Halo Trial, Maps, and you want to open bloodgulch.map. Once you do that, a bunch of tags will appear. Open the fifth, I believe, BITM, that's the bitmaps tag, that's what all skins in Halo are. Scroll down until you get to the uh, W's with weapons, and for this example, I will use the pistol. So make sure that you highlight... Uh, actual pistol one, you'll see some other ones like pistol FP, pistol casings, etc, etc. Um, if you're downloading multiple skins, it should already have the name there. Now what I've did is I went to the right side next to that picture and I hit save texture because I'm going to edit it right now. I saved it to the desktop and from the desktop I opened it in Adobe Photoshop CS2. You can open it in whatever graphics editor you like, as long as it can uh, handle DDS textures. And once you've opened it in here, edit it to your liking. Um, really not much to say about this. I just did a simple green gradient over the entire pistol, just to uh, prove that it can be scanned. It's important to note when you do this that uh, for Photoshop you'll need the DDS plugins for GIMP and some other programs. Um, I'm not really sure because I don't use them, but you'll probably also need another plugin pack or you'll need to use some alternate program that can convert DDS to bitmap or something. In any case, it's kind of irrelevant. Um, right here I just made a nice big green overlay and I set the uh, color blending or blending options to overlay very very simple skin don't go trying to show off your work and get bragging rights with a simple gradient or overlay like that it'll look uh, pretty stupid um, in any case once you're done save it I like to save it over the pistol skin that I uh, saved out of HMT and make sure that you select these options, most importantly DXT1, no alpha. Once you've done that, uh, it doesn't matter if you still have the skin open in Photoshop, but I like to minimize it. Go back into HMT, and then once again next to the picture, hit inject. And this time go to wherever you had saved that skin, or wherever you had downloaded the skin, if you had downloaded one. Inject, and it should come up with a short message telling you something, hit OK and hopefully it'll say injection was successful. If it does, you'll need to close the map file because HMT and Halo cannot run at the same time. And then you'll need to open Halo to test this skin, make sure it works. I like to test just by going to multiplayer, host game, LAN, set up a symbol one like that. Once you're in the game, look to uh, wherever your weapon spawns and you should see the skin both while it's lying on the ground and while you're holding it. And as you can tell right there, my nice green overlay. Very simple skin, but it's working and that's the important part. 
So now that we know that, say your skin uh, didn't quite look how you wanted it to, or you just got tired of using it for so long, now we'll cover how to get rid of your skin. For this part, it's important that you made those backups earlier. If you still have the folder open, go to it, open the backups folder, and this time the only file you want is the bitmaps.map file. You want to copy that, hit up, and then you'll be in the maps folder again. Paste it, and Windows should ask you if you want to overwrite the file. Click yes and let Windows do its thing. And what that'll do is it will replace any modified skins in the game with the original ones. Once again, go to multiplayer, LAN, great game, blah blah blah. And once more, you're going to go to the weapons this time, making sure that they have the default skin. If they do, then you did everything right. As you can see here, Pistol has the default skin. Kind of boring if you've been playing Halo for a long time, otherwise it can be very nice to see. Congratulations, once again, this is game.